Bro, are you freaking kidding? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be going over a list of the double pack a punch abilities in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So today, mainly what we're going to go over is we're going to analyze and see which double pack a punch abilities are the best in Black Ops 3. There are five different ones, those five being Blast Furnace, Dead Wire, Fireworks, Turned, and Thunderwall. Um, today we're really just going to go over uh, the statistics for each one and figure out which one's better than which. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into it. First one we're going to run into uh, is Turned. With Turned right, each of these, they have a cooldown, but they also have a maximum amount of kills that you can get with them. Just because it's the maximum amount of kills, that doesn't mean that you're going to get that every single time. So for example, right, with Turned, the max amount of kills that you can get with a turned zombie is 12 before the zombie will just disappear. It can last up to 20 seconds. So with the turn guy, right, uh, the cooldown for activating turn is 15 seconds. Uh, usually it will probably get the 12 kills. So on average, it will get about 12 kills, but that's as many as it can get. It cannot get any more than 12. If for some reason there are not 12 zombies left and it just is going to run around a long time, it will go away after 20 seconds. Turn zombies that, that kill other zombies. They will not drop power-ups. However, whenever you turn a zombie uh, immediately, there's like a wave blast that can kill about three or four other zombies around it. Um, I think it's three, actually. And there's a chance of a power-up drop from that. Um, that, whenever you get that, course, that sort of like wave uh, shot in, those count towards your kills and gives you points. However, whenever the zombie runs around and slap people like, all up, up, up above the head and whatnot, uh, that's not going to get you points. That's not going to get you kills or anything like that. Next up, we have Thunderwall. Thunderwall is going to have a cooldown of 10 seconds. Um, the maximum amount of kills that you can get with it is 6, which is not very much at all. But it's very consistent, and usually it is going to get you 6 kills, um, just as long as you use it properly. This will drop power-ups, and it will give you points and kills and all the stats that you need. With Thunderwall, right... This is actually very good for close range weapons, in my opinion. If you're going to do something long range, like a sniper rifle, I don't think this is good for sniper rifles. But up close, and, and you know, this can get you out of corners. This, in my opinion, is more of a tactical a sort of double pack of punch ability rather than something that you want to use to try and kill zombies very quickly. Um, because there's other ones that you, they can get more kills with Thunderwall than, than Thunderwall. So... That is why some people don't really like Thunderwall. I will go more into it after I get through the other ones, and we'll talk a little bit more about that when I get into the rankings of it. Next is Blast Furnace, and with Blast Furnace, this again has another 15-second cooldown, just kind of like how Turned has a 15-second cooldown. Um, the maximum amount of kills that you can get, I want to say that it is 24, but after uh, a couple weeks of using Blast Furnace... There's not one time where I could get a 24 kill with a single Blast Furnace effect. I got 23. I got it a couple times. But Blast Furnace is very inconsistent. There are times where you'll get 15 kills. There's times where you get 20 kills. There's times where you get 12 kills. Sometimes you get 22. You know, it, it, this is, in my opinion, probably the most inconsistent of the Double Pack Punch abilities. Um, and it is the slowest in terms of killing because the moment that you activate it, it'll take three seconds in order for the zombies to die that are burned from the blast furnace. It does drop power ups and it gives you kills and all that kind of you know all that kind of stuff. I do want to say that it can it can do a twenty four kill because twenty four is the maximum from the hordes. That's all that can come at you. But I couldn't get it. Um, and even if you do get a 24 kill with a blast furnace, you have to pile up the zombies. You have to like stick them in a rubber band. You have to literally group them up as much as they possibly can. Uh, it's, it's very, it's a no go. So that's why blast furnace is not as consistent as the other ones. Next is fireworks. Fireworks has the longest cooldown of any of the five alternate ammo types, uh, with 20 seconds. Uh, on average, this is going to kill about 20 zombies, and the maximum that it can kill is 24. I was able to get 24 kills with this on a consistent basis. However, not every time is going to get the, the full horde. I would say 20 is more, you know, along the lines of being consistent. 21, 22 maybe. But uh, this is more capable of killing than Blast Furnace, in my opinion. It also is going to kill quicker than Blast Furnace. The only issue with Fireworks is that, obviously, the long cooldown... Uh, this is not going to drop power-ups, except for on the initial shot, the initial zombie that you kill. 
that could possibly drop a power up but it's unlikely other than that all the zombies around it that will die will not drop anything what's great about fireworks is you don't need to pile up the zombies necessarily to get a bunch of kills the, the it's actually probably the most unique of the of the alternate ammo types because you can kill one zombie and there's zombies across the freaking map there's zombies two feet away from it and the, the gun that comes out from the fireworks is just going to go 360 mode and just kill a bunch of zombies around it which is very nice um, I really like fireworks. I think it's very unique. I'm very sad they didn't bring it back for Black Ops 4. But I, I do think that fireworks is a little bit underrated. But yeah. Next up, we have Deadwire. Deadwire has by far the fastest cooldown with 5 seconds. Um, the maximum amount of kills they can get is 9. And on average, it is going to get those 9 kills. It's extremely consistent as long as you stick the, the zombies close to each other. Um, it's very quick. Uh, it drops power-ups on mostly every single map. It gives you points and kills on every single map. The only maps that do not drop power-ups for Deadwire is uh, Shadows of Evil, The Giant, Noct... Or no, 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 timeout, timeout, no, 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 is fine, Noct is fine. Uh, Verrucked and Shinonuma. So, Shadows, Giant, Verrucked, Shinonuma, those four. You cannot get power-ups from those four maps with Deadwire. However, every single other map is good. Um, now, when I say power-ups, I mean the main power-ups like max ammos, fire sales, kabooms, dull points, and, you know, stuff like that, right? Um, however, with Widow's One, you can pretty much get Widow's One on any single map with Deadwire, even Shadows. Um, so, yeah, that, that's that's fine. But However, all the other ones are no-go on those maps. Now, to summarize, essentially, these five alternate ammo types... They all kind of serve a different purpose. Some are better for uh, camping. Some of, some of them are better for training. Some of them are good for both. Um, now, I would say that in terms of the main community or the main zombies community, they would sort of rank it like this. Which is not necessarily bad or anything like that. However, I'm going to disagree just a little bit because, in my personal opinion, there are some off things. First off... I think Blast Furnace is extremely overrated, which I know is going to probably trigger some people, but let me explain. I don't see a reason for myself to use Blast Furnace considering that Deadwire is essentially the same thing, but it's better than in pretty much every other aspect. One thing I think everyone can agree with is that Deadwire is the greatest double pack a punch ability. It's not even close. Now, I will say that whenever you do use something like Mule Kick and you've got a Wonder Weapon and a Deadwire Weapon, what's the next play? Because obviously, if you're going to have another weapon, you do not want to have two of the same double uh, pack-a-punch ability because the cooldown is still going to come into effect. And so that's why people don't really run double dead wire on guns. Um, so for some people, they like to use Blast Furnace because obviously the, you know, what Blast Furnace can do, drop power-ups, um, it kills, all that kind of stuff. However, my preference, right, is this list right here. Now, I know a lot of people do not like Thunderwall, but let me explain why I like Thunderwall. Because whenever I do my around 100 runs, I use Thunderwall on my shotguns. Usually if I have Mule Kick, I use an SMG or Assault Rifle with dead wire. I use the Wonder Weapon of the map, and then I use a shotgun with Thunderwall. A shotgun with Thunderwall is one of the most underrated things in Black Ops 3 Zombies, because... The way that you can use it to your tactical advantage you're not necessarily using it to kill very quickly the dead wire is pretty much going to use it's going to do all that kind of work right i don't need something else to do that but with a shotgun right the thunder wall not only will it give you drops but it can get zombies out of the way in case there's something that's just like uh, you run in a train there's a couple zombies that are just I, I don't like how they're placed they might ruin the train they may get me trapped they may they may end up killing me and so it's very nice to hold a shotgun, shoot the shots, and, and and get them out of the way. There's no factual evidence that I have to prove that shotguns are necessarily better with Thunderwall, other than the fact of how shotguns are used up close. You don't have to aim. They're very quick. They have pellets. Um, all of these have a different percentage of activation. However, they're pretty much going to activate mostly on instant. That's kind of why I like Thunderwall, and if I didn't use Thunderwall, I would like Fireworks, but the thing is, is that Fireworks does not work well at all with shotguns, SMGs, or pistols. Now, I talked earlier about Fireworks having, uh, on average, about 20 to 22 kills, right? But when you're using pistols, SMGs, and shotguns, 
that number drops tremendously to about 8 to 10 kills on average because I, I, there's no factual evidence, again, that I have for this, but I believe that it's something, it has something to do with range. Um, I don't know what it is, but every time I tested it out, when you're using a, f a gun with fireworks, it really depends on what you have. Snipers, ARs, and LMGs are very good with fireworks. However, SMGs, shotguns, and pistols do not use fireworks on those. Use something else, literally anything else but fireworks. Turned, in my opinion, is arguably the best for camping because if you're doing something like i don't know camping on the catwalk you can shoot a turned guy and he's just going to do work for you you don't have to do anything and you can be kind of lazy they'll also cover the stairs and sometimes they'll block the staircase from a bunch of zombies coming up which gives you time to reload gives you time to maybe throw a monkey look for power-ups do whatever you need to do right and so because of that turned is very effective i didn't find it as useful whenever training just because the zombie can it sort of gets in your way sometimes and it's just in my opinion it's not it can't there's times where it's just kind of in the way and that's in my opinion why i don't think turned is as useful whenever you're training now i've kind of went over all of them I, i'll go over like the weapons and what fits best for each one if you're using dead wire it doesn't matter what you put dead wire on it's going to be just as good regardless of what you put it on i usually put it on an smg or assault rifle on a wall and that's what most people do sometimes even a pistol but i prefer an smg or assault rifle fireworks again i talked about this earlier do not use shotguns smgs or pistols with fireworks it's not going to be as good use an assault rifle or an lmg sniper rifles probably fit the best if you're camping if you're camping and you have a sniper rifle use fireworks on that if you're using blast furnace i would probably say the same thing about dead wire where you can pretty much put blast furnace on just about anything thunderwall i i highly recommend that if you're going to use thunderwall use a shotgun i just think it fits by far the best with it lmgs aren't bad with thunderwall if you're camping but i think shotguns definitely have the edge over everything else considering if you're training and how you would use thunderwall it's very nice for that turned just use something that's got a lot of ammo so an lmg or an assault rifle that has a lot of ammo you do not want to use a sniper rifle with turned because when you're on the earlier rounds and you're one shot killing, it's not good to use turned on the sniper rifles because it will not activate on the zombies. It will activate if you're collateraling them, but if you've got a single zombie in front of you and you quick scope it, it's not going to turn into a turned zombie as if it's on the earlier rounds. Don't use it on a sniper rifle. Use it on an LMG or an assault rifle. So in terms of ranking these uh, double pack-a-punch abilities, how would I rank them? Well, I don't know if I can necessarily because I think that all depends on play style and how necessarily you're going about the game of zombies that you're playing and depends on what map you're also playing as well. One thing I can say is probably consistent is that dead wire is the best double pack a bunch ability in Black Ops 3 Zombies. I think everyone will agree with that. I would say that in terms of everything else, the other four, it just really depends on what you're doing. I think there's very good arguments for each and every single one of them. That's why, in my opinion, I can't necessarily say what the worst is because I don't think there is a worst pack-a-punch ability because they all do something completely different. Now, if you're going to say, well, based off of statistics, then I would say Thunderwall is the worst because Thunderwall, it activates only every 10 seconds and it only kills six zombies per Statistically, yes, it is Thunderwall being the worst, but Thunderwall can be used in so many different ways that can allow you to get max ammos easier. It can get zombies out of the way. It can save your freaking life just about as good as any other double pack-a-punch ability, which is why I can't say that, double, uh, that it's the worst double pack-a-punch ability because of what it can do. So, I, in my opinion, I don't think there's a worse double pack-a-punch ability. Speaking in all honesty... I think it just depends on how you play the game. I think there's very good arguments that you can make for every single one of these. I think that's pretty much everything I need to go over. I, 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 I thought this video was supposed to be longer. I, I guess not. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, want some more Black Ops 3 zombies, uh, let me know what you want. Or it, it doesn't necessarily have to be Black Ops 3 zombies. It's going to be Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 zombies, World of War zombies, Black Ops 4 zombies. Some people say they want a gobblegum ranking. Some people say they want a map ranking. Well... We'll consider it. Tell me what you want. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.